Hello and good day. My name is Martina Kalupka from the IT GmbH and I'm going to present the reconstruction app of, for the ETS5 to you. IT GmbH is doing software development, especially in the field of building automation since 1992. Our automation system Elvis has been on the market since 1998 and is currently being further developed. We have been involved in the ETIS development since day one and we de develop our own tools around ETS and KNX. One of them is the reconstruction app we will have a closer look at today. Our ETS apps. Reconstruction. Read the program devices of an EIP KNX system and create an ETS project. Create a new ETS project or update an existing one by reading out devices from an installation. Shift addresses. Restructure group addresses and individual addresses in an ETS project. Check and improve. Quality management of ETS projects for a better overview, maintenance and further use of data. Improve the formal quality of your ETS project by spell checking with corrections and uniform naming conventions. Use continuous mapping of data point types and benefit from a constantly updated online database. Auto backup. Create automatic snapshots of an ETS project. Use an automatic export of your ETS project when closing into a configurable project specific folder, for example to grant access to the always up-to-date version for other users or to support synchronization with a cloud service. Fill visualization dummy. Link a dummy device with a list of group addresses, either from your ETS project or imported from an external file. There are several formats supported. Project Data Exchange Export and import project data from a current ETS project in XML format. Facilitate the cooperation of ETS with your favorite tool, for example Excel or a CA Day program, when configuring your project. By importing and exporting the project data between ETS and external tools, you can keep the data consistent in both places. Function test. Test and acceptance tool for ETS project, also for mobile use. Keep track of which functions have already been successfully tested in your ETS project or where there is still a need for action. Use mini visualization also on mobile devices when testing on site. A clear report facilitates the acceptance. Project Diff. Compare different states of ETS projects. Compare your current ETS project with an earlier version of the project and get a detailed list of all differences for each individual element. So what's the purpose of the reconstruction app? The reconstruction app reads out devices from an existing installation in order to rebuild an ETS project. So your ETS database is lost or out of date? The reconstruction app will restore the ETS project from the installation. I will give you a short overview of the steps of the reconstruction. First, scan topology. Scans the topology structure of the installation and adds the found areas and lines onto the project page. Scan devices scans for all devices in the lines listed on the project page. Reads out their individual addresses, mask versions and application programs IDs and displays the device items on the project page. Read products. Searches in ETS manufacturer catalog items, all open project all open projects and, depending on the settings, also in online catalogs for product data. Then it adds them into the current project. Then the reconstruction app displays a list of all used products and application program IDs. 
It shows the information if product data is available in the ETS or has to be imported. Read devices. Reads re the relevant memory data from all devices. Reconstruct. Updates the ETS project based on the read data. Adds group addresses, areas, lines and devices into the ETS project. For each device it calculates a parameter configuration that fits to the red download image and updates the parameter values in the ETS, sets the flags of group objects and links the group addresses. Compare. Compares the red data with the current ETS project. It uses the same mechanism as for reconstruct but without an update. It's only logging the differences. Now we will switch to the ETS um, so I can show you the reconstruction. The reconstruction decovers all the devices connected to the bus and collects all the data from the relevant storage. That means you need bus access to some of the following steps of the reconstruction. We will focus on the reconstruction app in the ETS5 as the most up-to-date version. After installing the reconstruction, open a new project via the green plus symbol. Add a name. And create project. Switch to the tab Devices and open the Reconstruction app by clicking Apps, IT GmbH and Reconstruction. Now you see an empty window of the Reconstruction app. Okay, let's get started. By clicking Scan Topology in the Reconstruction app checks if there is any area or line coupler for all possible line addresses from 0.0 to 15.15. .15. For this step you need bus access which is shown in the lower bar part of the reconstruction window. You see it here. Because the single steps take quite a long time I run them in advance to save some time. Now you can see it also works to load existing states into the reconstruction app. As a result of scan topology you will get a list of all those areas and lines in the installation for which an area or line coupler was found. Names of areas and lines are not stored in the installation, so they cannot be recovered. Click Save Current State, because you don't want to lose the collected data after you had to wait for them. This should be done after every step. After the topology has been defined, the Reconstruction app can search for the devices connected to some or all lines. Start Scan Devices. For this you need bus access as well. Once again, I will, load, I will use the load state. As a result, you will get a list of all devices found in the installation, including information about individual addresses of each device, mask version and application program ID. But still, there are no group addresses and parameters. In the ETS project checks there is only product data available which is already used or known in the project. So the next step is to read products. 
By Read Products, the Reconstruction app scans all manufacturer catalog items and all other open projects. For this, you don't need bus access. In addition, you are able to add the online catalog for product data. You press Configuration and mark the box. The Reconstruction app adds the info to the current project. Depending on the size of the catalog, this may take some time. If there is still product data missing, you have to install it. Open the Catalogs panel in the upper tab bar and import the, mis the missing product data. They are sorted according to the first letter of the manufacturer. And here you can import them. After the process of importing, the new product data is stored in the product store. You have to perform read products again in order to get the data into your project. Some additional information regarding the product data. Most of the times, producers of devices identify their products by order numbers and don't use the device IDs given by the developers. Additionally, often more than one application ID is used for the same order number. But the reconstruction app needs exactly the same product ID as used by programmed. What to do? Use the freeware product finder developed by the IT GmbH. With this app, you can manage your own product data collection. The product finder searches the defined folders for the product data and saves the found IDs into an XML format. You are able to search for application IDs and we get a list of the files containing the IDs. In the Reconstruction app, you can store this product catalog file during configuration. Click Configuration, Use Product Finder Catalog File. You can open the site where you saved it. And now the Reconstruction app will search in this catalog as well. With double click at the application ID, you get a list of the suitable product data. Every single entry can be stored to the clipboard by right click and copy. Then you only have to import it as file path from the ETS input catalog window. The next step is to read devices. For this you need bus access again. For a better overview, I will close the catalog window. Instead, I will load a state again. So, after this step, read devices, the reconstruction app knows the parameter info and group addresses. As you can see here. You get even more information in the properties window on the right side after selecting one entry. After reading the devices, you don't need bus access anymore. The next step is to reconstruct. Up to now, no devices are shown here. And now we reconstruct. With this step, the right parameter settings are calculated, the device will be placed into the ETS project and the group objects are linked with the group addresses. 
Now you see all the devices and they are set at Reconstruction OK in the Reconstruction app. If you click the little arrow behind Reconstruction OK, the Reconstruction app opens up the topology window and switches automatically to the device. By clicking at the device and choosing Group Objects, you can see the devices were linked to the group addresses. At the right side you have the possibility to sh change the individual address. The last step is to compare. No bus access is required during this step. You can use the Reconstruction app to compare an IEB, EIB <laughs> KNX installation with an existing ETS project. This is useful to verify the identity of design and ins installation, analyze problems which are otherwise difficult to find. The Reconstruction app compares the parameter settings. It does not update them. Compare will always work against the current open project and may take a very long time. You can abort the operation anytime. Now I will change one setting from dim to switch. Now I will switch to a previous stage, where the reconstruction wasn't started yet, so we can see the result of compare. I will only select the changed object, otherwise the comparison will take a very long time. For this I change to selected. and undo all the boxes. And I start compare. You see that the, the you see that the reconstruction app found the difference in device one one four. The device is marked with a yellow exclamation mark. By clicking at this device you will get more information about the change at the right side. The Reconstruction app has many more functions, but their explanation would go beyond the scope of this seminar. Now you have a good overview of the Reconstruction app. Thank you for your attention. If there are questions, Please feel free to ask them at our exhibition booth. Visit our website www.it-gmbh.de or write an email to info at it-gmbh.de. Thank you and goodbye.